Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and boy, are we having a really good start to the week. We're seeing some big time movement out of some certain stocks. We're you know which one I'm talking about. Those EVs are coming alive for us. We have Ethereum continuing to pop higher, and there's just some good news out there dealing with Neo, Xpeng, uh, Lee. I would even argue Tesla coming out of China, dealing with the SEC. The SEC did some things. These are huge things if you're invested that you're going to want to hear about. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. All I ever ask, hit the subscribe button. Absolutely annihilate the like button for me. Hit the bell for notifications. Hit all. Now, I have some links down below. This is important. The first one, big time. A lot of what I'm going to talk about today deals with the SEC in China and just dealing with the companies that are being listed, IPOs, and a lot of the money we have made off of them. And is that going to continue or are we going to have to diversify a little bit and take advantage of some of the other exchanges around the world? I don't want to wait and find out, so I'm already stepping up and I have an account over at Moomoo and I have the link down below. I highly recommend taking advantage of it. They give you access to the Hong Kong exchange as well as a few other exchanges outside of the U.S. as well as full US market. So you got that going for you. And they're giving you four free stocks worth up to $3,350 for depositing, free level two market data, and just a host of other things out there that are incredible. So I highly recommend doing this. Well, first you're gonna get the four free stocks, but you're gonna get an opportunity to trade on the Hong Kong exchange. It's one of the easiest ways to do it. And that's how I'm gonna be moving forward. Now, I also have the BlockFi link down below up to 250 in free Bitcoin for depositing. But the big thing, I finally got the, they got it out there. They got the credit card uh, opportunity. I got the email just a little bit ago. I think it was three or four hours ago. They rolled that out now. So I do have a link directly to that as well. You're gonna get paid Bitcoin rewards. And I've been waiting for this because I'm huge on Bitcoin and Ethereum. I just wanna have the rewards grow. It's kind of like dollar cost averaging for my normal purchases. So I'm gonna have a link down below for that. Highly recommend going in and taking advantage that even if you don't have the BlockFi account, it is open to all states except New York. That's unfortunate, but that's what it has. And of course, my Patreon, if you haven't come on over, join us. We have thousands of members. We're over there with the private Discord. I'm sharing what I'm buying and selling. And of course, uh, the portfolios are there and it's just a great place to take that investing in the next level. So let's go ahead and take a look at the markets. You will see that they are all green. Everything's green and it's a, a good thing. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Kind of weird to see the VIX up with all the market up, but that happens once in a while. And as we can see, you go, look at this, Tesla, Neo, DraftKings, Lucid, all green, and it's a good day. And that's kind of surprising to see them up this much, or is it the EVs are rolling higher? I think people are starting to realize how big they are going to be. Numbers are starting to come out. You're seeing a lot of attention being paid towards that. And I think uh, the money will start flowing in there. We're gonna get into it a little bit more, but I got a lot to cover today. And this is a pretty big video. So the next thing I got for you is Ethereum. I did wanna bring this up because Ethereum is a large part of my portfolio. Somebody asked me, how much do you have in crypto? I'm gonna put it out there. I think I think I've ever around 20% of my portfolio is crypto and uh, it's getting to be all more and more of that is Ethereum. But it's a large amount, like I do. I share those numbers over at the Patreon if you wanna come over and see uh, the actual numbers of how much I have invested in it. And, and it's substantial because I continue to put my money into this every week and I do believe it's gonna do well. I did wanna compare this to Bitcoin because I know a lot of people are Bitcoin fans or they're Ethereum fans. You can be both. I do have a good amount of Bitcoin myself. I bought last year and I let it ride and it, it's doing well. It's not doing anywhere near what Ethereum is and Ethereum Ethereum has that big upgrade coming this Thursday, I believe it is. Uh, the London hard fork, we have that on August 5th, and that is gonna be big and create a little bit of downward pressure on that supply, which over the long run should decrease that supply down by about 20 to 30% of that. And so I'm feeling good that it'll help the price move higher. And I think we're starting to see that already. Like it's not gonna be like, oh, here's the day and now it goes up. I think you're seeing it rise up with a lot of the other cryptos above and beyond. And if we actually take a look at the five days, it's up 15% compared to Bitcoin's only up it's, well, it's even, it's down a little bit. So you can see what, why, what I'm talking about. It's already buying into that decrease in supply and that's a good thing. So I, I am hoping 
that it is not one of these sell the news events. And I'm hoping that as we move forward and over the next 12 months, by the time we get through these next 12 months, we'll be on full Ethereum 2.0 and we will have a lot higher price for Ethereum. Now let's get into what's happening with the EV market right now because we're seeing a lot of things happening and uh, this is big. I've been waiting for Tesla. My Tesla stock price prediction was 900 to 950 range for the end of this year. I had a lot of people tell me, hey, I don't think that's gonna happen when it was back down to 500, you know, don't listen to that, blah, blah, blah. Well, just a matter of a few weeks later, we'll say, um, where were we here when we were down there? Uh, we were down here 572 June, first week of June, and we have now rolled up about 25% on that. I felt confident that that was a very, that was the floor down here. And retested the lows, did not go down, and you can start to see that you're gonna head higher. Now the question is, how quickly will we get to 900? It's not a question of if we get there, we will get there. It's how patient we have to be. I'm hoping to still see this by the end of this year, and I do think it could happen. Uh, we'll find out though. Their numbers are good, and speaking of numbers, we have the NEO. NEO came out with the deliveries for June, and based off of that, you can see it started out actually uh, down a little bit, but then it rallied really quick and it popped up here. We're in 4634 and I continue to tell you I like NEO for the long term. I still think NEO can get to 60 to 70 dollars a share by the end of the year and even more so now. Why do you say that Mo? Well first let's just get through the numbers. I'm going to talk about what the government's talked about with China and the United States have finally came to some agreements and that this is bigger than you would know and i don't i'm kind of surprised i'm not seeing more news on this because it affects like the neo the xpeng the lot of uh, companies coming out with the ipos moving forward one of the reasons i'm using mumu is to diversify the risk of not having access to some of the ipos in the future and so i am looking at taking advantage of the hong kong exchange which is an international exchange where a lot of people around the world invest to get access to some of them stocks over in the Asian markets. So I am looking at taking advantage of that. So highly recommend signing up, going with me over there. Uh, now, when we get into it, the numbers though, uh, 7,931 vehicles in July, did I say June? July, in July, boy, they, the whole summer's going quicker. But in the July numbers, and they increased 124.5% year over year. And this is the big thing, that, that right there number, is fantastic all right and now obviously as we move into next year are we are they going to be able to keep up that triple digit gain year to year and eventually i would expect this to drop down i don't expect it to be 100 percent year after year after year after year but i want to con i want to see this continuing to move higher and expanding i know we know they expanded the agreement with jac to make i believe it was 250,000 vehicles annually so there's a lot of good things they're working on their own factories in neo park everything is rolling the right way they're expanding overseas neo to me is a slam dunk just be patient continue to dollar cost average if you are interested of course i don't tell you what to do i tell you what i'm doing and that's what i'm doing and i like this I, i'm going to continue to buy through the weakness and enjoy the green days and that's it man when everybody's running on the red i'm buying when they finally buy in the green i'm sitting back enjoying it so good things happening now what's the big deal going on with the SEC. Now this came out, I didn't hear anybody talk about this. The SEC halts IPOs of Chinese companies until they disclose more to investors. This was on Saturday and this was huge news. And I didn't hear anybody talking about it. So I'll bring it up and they put it out there. They halted it and responding to Beijing's cl clamp down, a private industry has halted initial public offerings of Chinese companies until they boost disclosures of risk posed to shareholders. And so that came out Saturday. So what happened uh, moving forward? Uh, we had China come out. Ch China Securities Watchdog seeks closer cooperation with the U.S. This was a big thing. So this is out of Beijing. The China Securities Regulator said on Sunday, well, this is yesterday, it will seek closer cooperation with its U.S. counterpart and will support overseas listings after U.S. regulators tighten disclosure for Chinese companies and voice concerns about J Beijing's regulatory actions. So um, as we get into here, that, uh, the, China, the CSRC, the same thing as the SCC here in the States, uh, so I had taken note of these listings and that the two sides should uphold the spirit of mutual respect and strengthen communications on regulating China-related stocks. So if you have been concerned about the crackdown in China and everything else, the US kind of came out and just 
said, look, this is the way it's gonna be, either fall in line or it's not gonna happen, and we need to work on this and get this to happen. And we wanna know what's going on with these companies for us investors and the states who are buying them. And basically, uh, it was a big red line, and, and they didn't want them to walk over, and they didn't. And so China reached out and said, look, we'll work with you on this, let's make this happen. And at the end of the day, that is why you're seeing a lot of the stocks roll up higher. Uh, because that is a, a very good thing to see cooperation if you own these stocks. And if it would have been the other way around of saying, no, 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 we're done, it's over, you would have seen a very red day today. And that is something that uh, it was important for these stocks. So the fact that they have officially come out and said that they would like to see a strengthening upon a uh, strengthening of communications on regulating the stocks, that is good news. That is a positive move uh, forward for those in these uh, foreign stocks. And so if you have Xpeng, Li, Alibaba, Tencent, a lot of the companies, you might look and say, well, I don't, I don't have Neomo. Well, it regards with a lot of stocks and future stocks how this can go. If it ends up bad, it could affect all the stocks already here, plus some if it ends up good, which I think it will, you are gonna see a even better opportunity for some of these plays, including Neo. And that's why I think you're seeing a big run up and that's good for Tesla because if it's if they're working together, they're not going to attack Tesla. They're actually going to allow them to continue to grow. And that is why I believe we are seeing Tesla run up as well. And that and it's way underpriced. So as we look at the the tip ranks, I do have a link for this down below. You will see that they have this at 14.414% upside potential, 18 or $818 price point for the next 12 months. I have it at 900 in the next, uh, not next 12 months, next few months. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Neo, they have this at 41% upside potential, $65 in 12 months. I have it at 60 to $70 in the, by the end of December. So we'll see if this comes through and how the numbers work. And of course, if we're off, I'm patient. I'll still wait a little bit, and I hope I'm off in the wrong way and this thing blows through 60. And then I can do another video saying how I was wrong. So there you go. That's the update for today. I'm loving what I'm seeing. There's some cooperation finally happening between the two governments. This is good for investments around the world, including U.S. stocks, because if you have Tesla, you don't want the Chinese government attacking them. And if you have Neo and da-da-da-da, you don't want the United States government attacking them. So I think they all agree that they're going to come to the table. Let's sit down. Let's make this work and move forward and just have a healthy economy for the world world. And that is one thing to take advantage of. Now, if you haven't gotten the Moomoo link down below, take a look at that up to four free stocks. You're going to get access to that Hong Kong exchange and some of the mainland exchanges as well. And free to level two market data and just a good opportunity to expand your investment investing techniques, if you will. And I do have the links for the BlockFi. You get up to 250 in free Bitcoin and now the credit card. I have two separate links down there for that. And of course, the tip ranks and my Patreon. Come on over and join us. It's a good way to give back. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.